sort of alerted the community. I mean, there was the famous uh, tornadoes in 45, I believe, that, that tore apart what was Walker Road at the time. And this was just a, a grim reminder that, uh, uh, you know, uh, as, a, as a former editor uh, that I worked with, Tom McMahon used to say, uh, when the sky turns green in Windsor, you better head for cover. Uh, I got to the corner of Central and Grand Maris. Uh, police had the roadblock. I pulled over the curb, parked in the middle of a field, and ran the rest of the way. In the pouring rain, it was just torrential. Uh, when I got there, uh, uh, one reporter named Greg Parent uh, was trying to interview four people at one time and there was a photographer on the scene named Walter Jackson. They're both no longer with us. I asked Greg, what do you want? He said, take these two people and interview them, uh, which I did. Uh, it was a, I don't want to say chaos because it had happened some time before, but there was uh, lights and emergency personnel everywhere. And uh, one of my jobs was I eventually commandeered the only payphone at the French Canadian Club across the street. And not literally, but almost had reporters knock, patting, pounding on my back to get off the phone. And it turned out that I was instructed, don't hang up. Uh, we're gonna, you know, the reporters are on the way, all coming from home, obviously. And they're all gonna come and see you and then you'll tell this one to go here and cover this angle and some are going to hospitals, et cetera, et cetera. All the copy editors came in. Uh, the then managing editor was a man named Bob McAleer and he mastered the front page with uh, eight headshots of victims on the top of the page and um, a big picture of the, of the, act, of the scene. Uh, I know the press club stayed open pretty late that night and but we were all back in early the next morning and one of the jobs I had to do was find the chief coroner of Ontario. Uh, the editors in charge at that time thought it was imperative to find out if there would be an inquest and that was very uh, important to the story. Uh, I found out that uh, this Dr. Cottenham, who was the chief coroner of Ontario, uh, was at the University of Western Ontario at the medical school, which I called to try to find him and uh, no one knew what he was doing so I had literally had the operator start calling every extension that she could possibly call and I found him and he did the usual uh, in all probability it certainly looks like it'll call and there was an, an inquest uh, uh, sometime later that uh, was pretty interesting and, and funny there's there was a if I recall right uh, one of the safety or pre-warning systems of bad storms at the Chrysler plant uh, at Drillard and Decomsey at the time uh, was to put uh, men on the roof to watch for bad weather coming and so they could alert the rest of the plant. So it's, you got to remember that's what 40 years ago. So.